the, there's different departments to handle it. It used to be that we all kind of did the same thing. I mean, I was the intern on Toy Story. I was also the projectionist that would run up and project film there. So I mean, it was really like <laughs> loose and you know, Jay and I, we would do, <laughs> we built the archives, and, you know, we did all kinds of stuff. Now there's departments of people that handle certain things, but it still retains uh, that kind of spirit, that collaborative spirit. Yeah, but yeah, I think that is what a lot of people at Pixar lament is what we, what we call the old days. And there's a few things what the old days are. First of all, if you've been there more than 10 years, you're considered you know old timer then. Yeah. <laughs> 10 years is a long time. Um, Point Richmond, people sort of look back and say, oh, I missed the Point Richmond days, which was, you know, our old building. Um, and it was, like I said, it was much more of like a college dorm kind of atmosphere. It was kind of grubby and we always kind of consider ourselves like low key, not too polished. We don't like things too perfect or glitzy or Hollywood. That's not really what we consider Pixar. And I remember when we first moved to the new building, we were like, I don't know, this thing's so <laughs> perfect and nice and the hardwood floors. And, you know, Steve Jobs was like, yeah, maybe you guys shouldn't paint the offices, you know, and we'll try and keep everything white and clean, you know, like an Apple computer. Yeah, it looked like an Apple store. Yeah, it looked like an Apple <laughs> store. And I'd say within, like, what, three weeks, people would, like, painted walls. Some guy took a sawzall and cut a hole in his wall, and some guys put down shag carpet, and then they hung up chandeliers, and we just, you know, we made it our own, yeah, there you go, made it our own place. Well, Ralph, Ralph Eggleston, who's a production designer here, Fighting Nemo, he was working on it, and he works with these pastels, and it gets all over the place. And you could always tell what film he worked on by the smudges. Of it. And he was working on this big pastel for Finding Nemo, and he walked down the hall, and his hands are covered in this, this blue. And John asked us, I dare you. It really had just, like, <laughs> it was like looking at, it's like looking at Dad. Like, we were like, jump on the bed or something. And he was, <laughs> all across the wall. He stayed there forever. It was big blue straight. He <laughs> did stay there forever. Color palette of Finding Nemo. Yeah. 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 And so now you guys are part of the Disney family, and yeah. what is that? Well, it's funny, we've always kind of felt that way yeah. because we've always made movies for Disney yeah. and we grew up loving Disney movies. So that didn't really change things either way. Um, it, it, was, uh, it was a huge deal, you know, and there was a lot of concern, will this change the, 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 the kind of the core feeling of the company? Bob Iger himself came to the studio and stood in front of everybody and said, listen, we'd be, you know, we, we, we bought this company to retain what it is, so go at it, do your thing. And we immediately made Wally, which is a pretty much a half silent movie about a robot that lives in trash and um, about a old man who finds his house away. So it was clear they were they yeah, really didn't understand what we do. And, yeah. uh, if anything, there was almost more oversight in the early days than the early films. Yeah. So it's funny, it, it, people have talked about how has it changed and it's just like we've gotten better. Yeah, I, we do have a certain degree of autonomy, which has been really nice. Like like we said, Bob Myers, like, you know, people have all the best intentions when they change things but you can still make the wrong decisions with sure. the right intentions. And I think he said, you guys have something that works. Whatever it is, uh, Glenn McQueen used to call it lightning in a bottle, right? Yeah. Uh, and it's kind of like this magic that we have. Whatever it is that works, it's like, don't mess with this too much. Just keep doing what you do really well, which is telling great stories and making great movies and making them the very best you can. John always says, it takes just as much work and time and money to make a bad movie as a good one. So you might as well make a good one. It's true. So. Um, so we were talking a little bit about the actual building before. So I, I hear that there's a cereal bar and you ride around on scooters and... and, and yeah, cereal yeah, bar. Yeah, there is a cereal do bar. They, do you let Michael eat at the yeah. cereal bar? Michael's allowed to eat at the cereal bar. Oh, yeah. yeah. You, you have cereal? You weren't supposed to eat. You weren't supposed to eat. Yeah. So it's it's just my ID. Use your key card when you get the cereal Guest bar. ID. Cereal, For some uh, reason, cereal okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why we have a cereal bar, but we do. And yeah. It's constantly being used and everyone loves the cereal bar. You know, my son because of that once a cereal bar at home and for two years has been begging me can we get a why cereal bar why can't you get a cereal bar is that so much to ask cupboard yeah you are academy award come on game. make it happen Michael come make on. it happen I think I think he deserves a cereal yeah. bar <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I hope he's not here yeah um no, but and, they, they, yeah. they built a great place for us the idea is that we spend a lot of time there. I mean, these movies take four or five years. We're there all night, all day, every day. Yeah. And so it's kind of supposed to be like it's home. The comforts of yeah. home. Well, do, you have, do you have a picture of the atrium? Because in the atrium, one of my favorite things that they that they did for a long time, and I don't know if they've done it in the last few years, but they have these uh, paper airplane contests. Oh, yeah. And what they do, this look at this massive space here. So what they do, they all line up on one side of it. Everyone makes an airplane, and whoever's goes the furthest right, is the winner of yeah. the contest. And yeah. it's pretty great because again as a 10 year old that would be the most awesome thing you can think of to do right yeah you know? and those kind of things come from employees which 
really nice is the school doesn't try to mandate wacky culture like, hey guys, get crazy and do this. It's literally like somebody there is an airplane that starts flying plane and sends out an email and goes, everybody meet me at like, you know, four o'clock we're gonna fly airplane and people just do it. And that's what's nice to have this informal, very informal culture. And because as soon as it starts to feel corporate, people at Pixar, their hairs get up. They know like, wait a minute, man, somebody's trying to push the ah. And so we, you know, by leaving people alone and letting them do what they want to do because it helps inspire their creativity, creativity inspires better movies. So that's why we do it. We do the car show. And I mean, that's yeah. Like, yeah they can, that's yeah. right. Also, you should tell everybody about oh, the car show too. Yeah, so this started, um, uh, actually it started the old building. One time we just, a couple people had old cars and we brought them in. We actually called it uh, Pixar Conqueror's Delegance just for that year as a joke of these people having these ratty cars. And the next year, um, they said, do you want to run the show? And I said, yeah, I'll, I'll run the show. I'm a big, obviously a big car guy. And I went to our head of human resources, and I said, can I have some money to, to do this show? Like, just a couple bucks? And he goes, yeah, what do you need? And I go, I want a live band. I want barbecue food. Make some t-shirts. He goes, yeah, sure, do whatever you want. And I just, just went crazy with it and called it the Pixar Motorama. Uh, this will be our uh, 11th year, my 11th year doing the Motorama. And what happened was, as we were working on cars, we started meeting manufacturers like, you know, General Motors or Ferrari or Aston Martin and saying, hey, we want, want your cars in our movie. They remembered us and I, and I would say, hey, by the way, we're having a car show at Pixar if you guys want to come. And they wanted to come. And then all of a sudden we had these gorgeous mega cars showing up for our Pixar car show. So here's all these employee cars on the wings and then like a, a, a Porsche Carrera GT, like a $430,000 car like rolls up the metal and parts and like, all right, this is a real car show. <laughs> and so the thing just sort of like exploded and became this, it's an employee only car show. It's not open to the public and it's just our cars and the manufacturers bring these cars and just sort of put them in their own little area in the center. And it's, we just Jay have, Leno send a car yeah, Jay Leno sends cars up every year. It's crazy. It's the only car show outside of his little region that he will send a car to is the Pixar car show. You guys are so cool. special. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, you know, before we go on, I wanted to say, uh, Jonas, in your presentation, you had pictures of the little offices. But sometimes you guys build little houses oh, yeah. in animation. Yeah. What? Do you have a little house? Do you know? <laughs> What's your office like? My office is pretty. Because you're very fancy now. You know, <laughs> you know what I did? I got. A, I wanted old school. They have all these old. Uh, they have these nice. You know, everything's ergonomic and everything's very nice. And I got an old. Uh, this is how much of a geek I am. I, I, I looked at pictures of Walt Disney's old office. Oh, I yeah. wanted like the old leather chair and the low The big wood desk. Yes, yeah, so I wanted it also. Like, it yeah. feels like it's 1955 in my office. So you're Walt and then when you walk yeah. by, it's always like, hello, Hollywood? Yeah. Yeah. Hollywood, I need to make a big contract. <laughs> when he gets back to it. He comes on the desk when he's upset. Right. And then the second time he's gone, he just puts the phone down. Yeah. And <laughs> someone else comes by. Hello, Hollywood? Well, one time, Pete, he made his office. <laughs> <laughs> I'd come into the morning, Pete's in his office all night. We just moved into the pot, and he had made a cave. A mine that with like it looked like Big Thunder Mountain. I swear, with like paper mache and paint, yeah. and he even had you know the, the mine shaft and lights, and he even had sound. And so he worked on it all night, and it was like wind it was genius. And water dripping and let it blow. That was he wrote up in that office. Yeah, yeah. pretty crazy. He can do whatever you want with your office. I like that yeah, idea. I like nice. that idea. Um, I think we've got some questions from the audience pretty soon. So if you guys want to bring those up to us, well, I'm going to ask Michael a question. Um, what, for those of us that didn't see, thank you, Benjamin, for those of the people here who didn't see your presentation, do you, your process for, you see a rough cut of the film, you work in that way, is that the way that works? Yes, yeah, I mean, I'll go up and I'll watch the film. Usually, they, you know, uh, as Jay was saying, they have these screenings where they keep showing, they take it down, they rebuild it, show it again, take it down, rebuild it, show it again. Um, and I'll go up for one of those, for instance, on Cars, I, I've seen that movie four, four different iterations along the way, you know, and each time it gets better and better. And then you start, it's really interesting because during that process you start, at some moment it starts to crystallize. You go, oh, this is the movie. You can really start to yeah. feel when that shift starts Certain taking place. Certain start sticking. Yeah. You feel like that was in there the last two times and it's really good. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And, it's, and, it, and it starts to become...